Hello guys, right, so it is the first day today for the Ely Cathedral Ad Orientum project workshops. Uh, if you don't know about this project that I'm doing, I'll put a link up here. Uh, There's a video where I was telling you all about it. Uh, but we're going to go over now to Ely Cathedral. Let's go. So we spent the day in Ely Cathedral's stunning Lady Chapel, which is a spectacular example of 14th century decorated Gothic architecture. As you might know by now, this project is all about the medieval history of Ely Cathedral, and specifically its very earliest days, before the Lady Chapel was built, before even the rest of the cathedral was built, and when it was still an Anglo-Saxon abbey, founded in the year 673 by Saint Ethelreda, who is a local Anglo-Saxon saint. My piece is set a little later in the Abbey's history, in 870, which is the year when we believe the Vikings invaded Ely and destroyed the original Anglo-Saxon Ely Abbey. We have about 250 children taking part in the project, and in the final performance in June, they'll be singing alongside the cathedral choir, the boy and girl choristers, and the cathedral organ, and some members of the Britain Symphonia as well. The work we're doing with schools begins this month with each school coming into the cathedral for a day. They start off in the morning by learning the story of St. Ethelreda through a wonderful interactive story which is led by the cathedral learning team involving a bit of acting and dressing up. Now you'll notice the incredible costumes which the children are wearing and apparently these were made by one of the volunteers at the cathedral for this purpose and I was really knocked out by how beautifully made they are. Some years later Ely Abbey was refounded as a Benedictine monastery and before lunch, the children dress up in Benedictine robes and get to experience 24 hours in the life of a monk, but speed it up. This worked really well, and unfortunately, as you might imagine, uh, the vow of silence which the 21st century monks were required to take didn't go entirely to plan, but it still was a great session. After lunch, I do a singing workshop with the children, where they get a very basic introduction to medieval music, and specifically to singing a psalm using plain chant. Now, we really wanted this project to include as many children as possible, so we have entire year groups from participating schools, including some who will have done some music before, and some who might not have done very much at all. I start the workshop by getting the children to make some silly sounds, and I introduce the idea of higher and lower sounds by getting them to move their arms up and down to correspond with the higher and lower sounds. And then gradually we focus in on two or three notes and do some singing games around these notes, which gradually builds up to doing kind of musical questions and answers, which correspond to the mediant and termination in a psalm tone. Now, if you don't know about psalms, then I will talk about psalms probably in another video. And also, actually just to mention, if you're interested, this teaching approach that I'm taking here is kind of loosely based on the Kadai method. And I've been getting really interested in Kadai recently, as I mentioned on my Instagram the other day. But maybe I'll do another video about this at some point. But anyway, I was really pleased with how the children did. And as you can see, a lot of them were really trying hard and doing a great job, even though it was massively unfamiliar territory for some of them. So I'm now looking forward to seeing how the other schools get on. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because I do one of these composing vlogs every Sunday night. And uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, over the coming weeks and months about this ED project. You will see us putting it together little bit by little bit. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and I will see you next time.